Hey, crypto family. So before I start this video, I just want to say happy new year. Happy 2023. It's going to be a great year for us. Can't wait to see what it holds. And again, hope y'all are doing great so far. So this video is actually going to be five rules to keep you safe in crypto in 2023. So there's a lot of stuff that happened in 2022. Again, we're going to go over things that we learned and things that you can make sure to stay vigilant about so that you don't run into any issues come this year. So First rule that we're going to go over is only invest what you can afford to lose, okay? This is something a lot of people know, but they do not abide by it. So what I mean by this is maybe you have funds that you can invest, but you can't necessarily lose, right? Maybe it's your rent payment. Maybe it's funds you're going to use for your car payment or something like that. So make sure it's discretionary income and income that if you lose today, it will not affect you in any way, okay? If you can lose, if you can afford to lose it, fine. If not, you should not be trading with it. Next, rule number two is don't revenge trade with high leverage. So how many times have you heard people say, oh, I lost this trade, but if I just, you know, trade 50X or 100X, I can make it back in one trade. That is the wrong mindset to have this year. It will lose you a lot of money and it's happened to me multiple times. Again, I would not even get mess with leverage because it, again, it can be very, very dangerous. So please, if you are experienced, then only use five, maybe 10 X max for leverage. But again, the market's going to be really volatile. I'm expecting. So please do not use any high leverage thinking you can make it back in one trade from what, what you lost in 2022. Now, next is rule number three, keep your crypto off centralized exchanges Use things such as MetaMask, Trust Wallet, or cold storage such as Ledger Nano X, etc. Now, this is because there is a ton of controversy, again, <clears throat> with the Luna collapse, with you know people having their stuff on Celsius, people having their stuff on FTX when they collapsed, filed for bankruptcy. And really, a lot of these exchanges are starting to go belly up. And it's starting to become known that, hey, they actually don't have the funds that they say they do to back all of customers' assets. So with that said, you are you should only really be on an exchange for buying a coin and then transferring that coin to your DEX wallet or transferring it offline on a cold storage wallet like Ledger Nano X. So again, do this so you know. They always say, not your keys, not your crypto, right? So please, please make sure you are staying safe and staying off centralized exchanges so you do not have that risk in case the exchange goes bankrupt, they get hacked, they stop withdrawals, right? Anything could happen. So please, please keep your funds off of centralized exchanges. Next, be vigilant of scams, okay? More so than ever, people are taking advantage of the people who lost money on FTX and they're trying to message them in Discord, Telegram, Hey, you know, we can help get some of your money back. All we have to do is know a, a few things about you. They may ask about your seed phrase. They may give you a link to some faulty login website that looks like an actual centralized exchange only against your login info. And then before you know it, all your money's taken, right? So never follow any faulty links. If someone tells you to log in, go directly to that exchange. Never click a link anyone sent to you in Discord, Telegram, Twitter, any of that, right? Always go directly to the source because now more than ever, people are on the hunt for people who are vulnerable and looking to make a quick buck off of that. So please, please be vigilant of scams. They're going to be out in 2023 more so than ever. And then last but not least, if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Okay. This goes with anything, any new coin, any new farm that offers a high APR percentage, um, you know, just like with Luna, any stablecoin farm that offers 20%, you know, constantly too good to be true, right? So again, eventually stuff will come to fruition. Either they'll rug or they'll, you know, eventually everything will come falling down and you don't want to be caught on the wrong end of that. So definitely if you're thinking of investing in a coin, it looks like it keeps going up. But what you don't know maybe is the devs put in some rug or it's a honey pot where you can only buy coins and you can't sell them right that happens a lot on new coins that launch on uniswap or pancake swap etc so please 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 never jump to conclusions for nfts or anything that's a big hit quote unquote 
always do your research. That's the biggest thing I can say is always do your research, okay? Never follow any influencer blindly when they tell you to buy a coin, buy an NFT, any of that. Please be vigilant, guys. 2023 can be a great year if you follow all these rules and you are always vigilant, okay? That's the biggest thing I can say. Again, I have a Discord if you want to join it. We talk about a lot of crypto stuff. It's free. And then again, if you follow me on Twitter, you can as well. But these are just five rules that I found have been really good to me. And if I follow all these, then I'm usually in a pretty good spot, right? And that goes into well as doing my own research on everything I invest in. And again, maintaining that patience and discipline with anything I invest in as well. So with that, if you could, guys, please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you haven't. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for my subscribers. Hope you all have a great 2023. Happy New Year.